Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video and to July's unboxing of my little phone box. You've seen last month what we got in our June box for me and Orion. And if you want to see what our July box contains, then stay tuned and let's get to the video. Before we start this unboxing, I want to basically say hello to all of these new people that have joined my channel in the last month. Thank you so much for being here and for supporting me. I really appreciate it. But if this is the video, the first video that brought you to this channel and this is the first time you're around, then you can also join this family that keeps on growing. Just hit the subscribe button that is under there. And if you hit that little bell right next to it, then YouTube will notify you when I upload my next video. So the box arrived two days ago and it feels quite heavy. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to see what is in here. So let's just get this opened. Why am I struggling and I'm not just opening it like this from the back? I don't know. There we go. So. <laughs> okay, I can see something that I'm already liking. I'm going to show you quickly the box like this. And let's go see individually all of the items that come. I'm going to grab the card that explains the items that we get. And I'm going to show you the card at the end of the video like I've done last time. So you can see the prices and how much each item retails for. Let's go straight to the items. And by the way, excuse the cooing noises. I have Orion in the basket, in my Moses basket right next to me. And he has a little mobile above him. <laughs> <laughs> it's rotating yeah and he's talking to it <laughs> okay we're gonna have some music playing in the background because otherwise he won't stop he wants to be on my lap and to show you these items along with me but it's his time to actually sleep so excuse the music and any cooing sounds that will be coming from the Moses basket let me show you as well that's where he is so let's get into the box and let me show you the very first item that came in and that is a little toy it's a roly-poly tumbler that is from the company a to z from what i can see it is a zero plus months and i think this is perfect for kids that have basically just started going on the floor and are getting their first experience when it comes to trying to crawl I think this is perfect for then. I know that Ryan will probably play with it because if you can hear it, it does jingle. So I do think it's perfect for sensory play. And I do think that my daughter will probably be interested in it as well. I think Andromeda will want to see what it is, but I don't think that will keep her interested for long. I'm a little bit worried that this will end up in my dog's mouth instead of my son Orion playing with it. But we'll, we'll definitely give it a try. I really like sensory toys. I really like things like that. Orion got that little rattle on the previous box and he has been loving that. He's used it quite a lot. So I really want to give this a try as well. This is the first item that came in that is for him. Now, from what I can see, the other item that comes in this box that is for the baby is a pack of aqua wipes. The kindest baby wipes from nature, 96, 99.6% purified water, the biodegradable plastic free wipes. And this is a travel pack with only 12 inside, which is this one here. Now, I do like having smaller packs in our nappy bag when we go out, of course, now with the pandemic we're not really going out that much but i know that when we do have to go out for an appointment a doctor's appointment or something like that i like carrying small packs in my bag rather than the big ones that we keep at home because they're heavier and these are much easier to carry around without carrying too much these are the second item and i would say the last three items from the five that come into this box are for me, are for the mum. So we got in the box a small pack of two reusable cooling iPads that look like lemons, I would say. So it's these ones here. And I'm gonna open them just to see. Oh, it does say zesty lemon, sorry. 
blind sometimes so you get these two little things no they don't smell they're literally plastic and what you do with these they are perfect you put them in your fridge they get nice and cool and then when you decide that you have some time the kids are asleep and you want to relax and basically have a little bit of care for yourself some self-care then you can pop these right on your eyes and they will help you basically they will have the area around your eye i could potentially use them as they are without putting them in the fridge because they are quite cool to the touch as we speak so they could be used even now but i know that they would do a much better job if they go in the fridge and this is it does say for best resource place the ipads in the fridge like i said to cool overnight or for one to two hours at least Place the iPads over the eye area whilst lying down and leave them on for 5-10 to 10 minutes to allow the A area to be cooled and soothed. Wash after the use and do not freeze the product. So I had something very similar to these prior and I've used them quite a lot but they were a little bit too big and eventually one of them popped by accident. Uh, all the jello went out and I had to throw them away. I hope that I'll be able to use these for quite some time because they are perfect especially when typically every mom doesn't sleep as much as they'd like and we end up with black circles under our eyes we end up like little pandas so these are perfect to kind of soothe the area under the eye and to help avoid turning into a panda at least not as often <laughs> so i do like these and let's see there is a hand cream so there is a Dr. Botanicals, like we did on the previous box where we got a Dr. Botanicals facial oil. This is a Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Rose Nourishing Hand Cream. So it's the same brand and it's even the same smell, the same scent, because it was a Moroccan Rose on the previous one as well. And this is the hand cream that comes into the box from Dr. Botanicals. So it's vegan friendly, it's 50 ml from what I can see here. It is pizza approved so it's cruelty free and vegan uh, it does say on the back as well and it's made in the UK so you can see that it says vegan friendly which is great because I like supporting anything that is cruelty free when it comes to facial well any form of beauty products uh, it's time that we find other ways to test them without basically harming the little harmless animals um i do like the fact that it's also vegan friendly so i know friends of mine that would definitely appreciate that i'm not vegan i don't really care about it but i do appreciate that it's there and it is available for people that are so that's a really nice one i want to smell it because if it's oh i won't be able to um, and I don't want to open it right now because I do have two more hand creams already open that I'm currently using. I don't want to basically break the seal and then kind of um, speed up the process of it getting bad. If it's anything like the facial oil that I got on the previous box, then I know that the smell is going to be amazing. And the last thing that came into the box is a book. It says, will I ever pee alone again? Uh, and other silly happy and heartwarming poems for mums uh, it's written by emma conway now if you don't know who emma conway is she is also a youtuber she uh, her channel i believe is uh brummy mummy of two i have been watching her for quite some time now she is hilarious so i kind of want to see what this is so i'm gonna like randomly open a page and read oh that's a big one let's go to the one next and I'm going to read you one to see... No, that's Christmas one. Let's... let's. There we go. I'll read you a poem just so we can see if the poems are as hilarious as she is. And you definitely know that she's if you're watching her channel. So this one I'm reading right now is called My Mummy is the Gruffalo. I do like the Gruffalo. I'm going to have to say that. My mummy has really hairy toes. I've seen strands poking out of her nose. I saw a thick black whisker on her chin and a curly one behind her shin. I reckon she's the Gruffalo that we read about. She sounds like a monster when she starts to shout. <laughs> My brother doesn't really agree with me, but I think he's just worried she'll eat us for tea. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna definitely have to read the rest of it. This was so funny. I'm gonna definitely recommend this, even just by that one. I'm going to say that it's worth 
giving it a look if you can find it somewhere and definitely if you're considering getting the box get it just to get this book so what it says on the back there's a pajama clad woman from Brum she's a mostly happy sometimes snappy mum she's written some verse it's a little perverse <laughs> and she hopes you find it side splittingly fun and I do think that it's going to be fun so I can see that the retail price for this one is $7.99 from the back of it. So let's see how much the other items cost. So the tumbler retails for £3. The book, like I said, is $7.99. The wipes are a pound. The Ducks and Botanicals hand cream is $25.49. Wow! Twenty-five for that's twenty-five pounds for the little hand cream. That is crazy. And the cooling iPads retail for four pounds. So all in all, that will be twenty-five, twenty-nine, thirty. That's forty pounds worth of items in a box that I literally paid twelve ninety-nine to get, along with two ninety-nine for the postal charge, basically for the delivery cost. So for fifteen pounds, I got. £40 worth of items. Wow! I'm going to have to also mention what comes in the back of this card, which is an idea when it comes to sensory play. They say that sensory bags is something you could do, and sensory play is important for all children and many of the development stages. These bags are a great experience without any mess, and they give you three options as to the three bags you can create a slippery pom pom, a squashy foam, and an undersea treasure. And I really like the idea of that. You can actually see in the pictures of what they are talking about when it comes to those bags. I really like things like that because they do help with their development. So I think I'm going to be looking into Amazon to see how much those pom-poms cost. Um, because we do have seashells, so I can definitely do the undersea treasure. But the pom-pom idea is quite nice. I think Andromeda will love it. I think Orion will love it when he's a little bit older. So this is such a great idea. And I love that it's included in a box just to help new mums, especially if it's the first child, to get some ideas as to how they can help the development of their kids and also how to keep them occupied with something that is educational and not just, I don't know, the TV, for example. So this is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed what the box contains and that you're thinking of maybe giving it a try. Even if that is that you're thinking of potentially buying like the one-off box to see if it's something that would suit you. I would definitely recommend this as a gift as well to either new mums whether you would like to buy the one-off box and send it to them because the company little phone box do have one-off boxes that you can buy that are targeting either the mum and the baby just the mum or just the baby so they're perfect for gifts but you can also just buy the one-off box from the subscription to send as a gift because the very first box is only £8 to buy along with the £2.99 for the delivery cost. So for £10.99, you can definitely make a really nice present to someone. I like what I got. I'm quite surprised with the price of the hand cream. That's definitely the most expensive hand cream I have in my house right now. But I have to mention that the one thing I like the most from this box will have to be the book which I'm going to be sneakily reading while the kids are either asleep or when I'm trying to keep them occupied with other activities and I guess a little bit of time while I'm sitting there with them. And that will be the end of this video. Let me know in the comments down below if there is one of these items that made the biggest impression to you. Which one is it and why? And if you want to talk to me in any other form of social media rather than the comments of this video, then you can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll put my handle here so you can find me there. Hopefully I will see you on the next video. Up until then, be careful, stay healthy, stay strong, love your family and your friends and do show them that love. Do not take it for granted, especially in these hard times that we're going through with the pandemic. Do show them that you love them. And up until the next video, I hope to see you again very, very soon. Toodles!